fish guys what's up welcome to another episode of the aqua planet guys how are you how are your fishes this is my salt water tank and here is my nemo and she is right now very alone so guys when we talk about the salt water tank the first thing comes in our mind is salt so guys salt is basically related to the salinity and salinity what is basically salinity basically the concentration of the salt is dissolved in the water in this video we are going to talk about the refractometer what is refractometer uh, guys refractometer is basically a device used to measure the salinity of the water so guys salinity is very important when you are talking about the salt water tank and its range should be in the terms of specific gravity should be from 1.022 to 1.026 uh, this is the range of the specific gravity of the salt water and if you have the fish only tank then you need to have at least 1.022 and if you have the corals in the salt water tank then you must need to have at least 1.026 this video we are going to talk about the refractometer and i am going to introduce the refractometer and i will tell you that how to calibrate the refractometer and i am going to also show you that how to use it tune with me and let's start the video Okay guys here is the refractometer uh, first of all I am gonna see that what is inside uh, guys here is the refractometer and this is the dropper for putting the water drops on the prism and here is the calibration screw as you can see basically it is a calibration screwdriver and what is what else and what is this this is the user manual and we see that what it says and here is the nomenclature of the refractometer this is top cover plate prism assembly and number three calibration screw number four rubber grip and number five focus adjustment and number six eyepiece now we look at this and here are the parts the prism and this is the basically the screw for the adjustment or calibration rubber grip and here is the IP uh, for looking inside as you can see uh, there is a little bit blue color inside uh, we will check it later so guys first of all I am gonna tell you that how to calibrate it uh, guys for, for first time you need to calibrate it uh, because some of the refractometers are already calibrated and some are not but for the safe side you must need to calibrate it guys for the calibration purpose you need basically the distilled water and here are the two pictures which says the that how to calibrate uh, when you are using with the distilled water then the salinity should be 
1.00 or you can say 0 so for the calibration purpose i tell you that how to calibrate it uh, this is a prism and on this surface you need to put some water drops uh, i am using the distilled water right now and i am putting some drops on the prism uh, two to three drops are more than enough and you need to close the cover like this and it should be like this and this is good and now you sh need to look in uh, guys here you can see the salinity uh, which is around 0 or 1.00 so it is already calibrated as you can see the white line and the upper portion is blue so it is already calibrated so we don't need to calibrate it and if the white line is above or below the zero then you need to calibrate so for the calibration purpose guys you need to remove this cover like this and you need to use the screwdriver and here is the screwdriver guys after calibration you can measure the salinity or the specific gravity of the salt water and i have already told you that the specific gravity should be between 1.02 to 1.026 so guys the main thing is the how to use it and first you need to calibrate so guys stay tuned with me i hope that you enjoyed the video if you have any problem or you want to share anything you may comment okay guys take care thank you bye bye